Hello everyone, this is Blaze, and welcome back to another Dominion game, but we're playing Lawbringer this time. I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how I play Lawbringer and Dominion, and how to advance your gameplay as a team player, even when you're not communicating with anyone. And uh, what I like Lawbringer for, and what you should be playing Lawbringer as, is not really an offensive person, but more so as a ganking character. Um, and, and a character that like just helps your teammates out. So... A lot of it comes down to timing and waiting for uh, what your teammates are doing so you can get the um, the combos down that you need to help them out. You don't want to base uh, you don't want to base your lawbringer gameplay off of your own damage. You want to rely on your teammates damage mostly. Um, and you have to know the idea of like what you want to do in the situation you're given at. So Instead of using all these random words, and let me just get you to the explanation of what I mean. Uh, basically, it's it's very straightforward. All you have to do is, when you're in a uh, fight, like 2v1, 3v1, and you're with your teammates attacking someone, you don't want to stay locked on or engaged. I know it's a little bit of a taboo thing for me to say the words lock on, and to say unlock on my channel, due to uh, past things that have happened. But, regardless of that, um, honestly, a lot you're going to be doing is running and impaling the enemy. Another one you're going to be doing is doing a uh, long arm if you're locked on in any way. Like, for example, when an enemy does a, uh, when an enemy gets, like, guard broken and he counters the guard break, what you want to do is, you want to do, do the long arm, like, right when the guard break of your teammate comes out. That way, there's no recovery time. Even if the enemy counters the guard break, there's no recovery time enough for him to dodge out of the way or react to it. So then you'll get the long arm, and that can guarantee up to two heavies from your teammates, depending on when they attack with the heavies. Now, uh, you don't always want to just spam your long arm, since it's a very long, slow attack that can be dodged and GB'd. And this is a really terrible situation for my teammates. I gotta leave that one. It's a 4v2. Um, this gladiator is coming after me. One sec. In a minute, I'll, uh, try to get to a situation where I'm ganking instead of 1v1-ing. Oh, now I'm 1v2-ing. I think I can take this. Okay, there. I have a teammate. Maybe I can help him out. So this thing right here, that impaling into a wall and long arming is what you're going to want to get used to doing. And uh, I'll show you guys exactly how to do it when uh, I help this guy. Oh my god, I almost killed my teammate. I tied that, timed that wrong. There you go. No, I messed that up. There we go. Okay, so running around and impaling into long arm, uh, the way you do it is basically when the opponent's window is opened up like that, you impale them, and then when they get into the wall, you wait just like a second or so, so then you're in full like default like stance, and you're not like recovering from the impale. Because if you if you try to do a long arm when you're still in the recovery, your character will then buffer a guard break instead. Which is not what you want. So you want to wait just like a little bit of time when you get them into the wall and then do a long arm. Not too long though because the recovery of the wall splat is uh, very short in comparison to how long the long arm takes. So you got to be quick. But you do have a little bit of time to uh, make sure you get it right. The next will be up to your teammates to be patient enough to wait for the long arm. If they do a heavy too early then you know it's fine. Like. You still have time to like do another long arm uh, on their recovery, possibly depending on the enemies you're going against and what your teammates using against them. Okay. This is really bad.
Oh, I'm dead. That's GG. I had to dodge the toe stab, but the GB came up right at the same time. That was unfortunate. So yeah, that's basically how you play support as uh, the Lawbringer. I'm, this is a very terrible example gameplay um, because I'm always being ganked instead of ganking. So therefore, like I can't, I can't really show you guys the proper gameplay, but that's fine. Um, these enemies just seem to be the kinds of enemies to death ball everywhere, which is unfortunate because that's exactly what I was hoping not to be um, as an enemy team, but that's fine, I guess. There we go. So, recovery, long arm. There we go. I gotta be careful here. Watch for him to jump at me. That. Okay, there. So, wall splatting him just gave enough for two heavies there for my teammate, uh, which was enough to kill him. That's basically how you play Lawbringer to the most efficient way in this game. Um, trying to be offensive with Lawbringer and, and do damage is... Uh, it's not as efficient to try to guarantee your wins or, you know, get the kills on, t on enemies. Even when they're revenge, you can still wait for recovery times. It's just a little bit, it's just a little bit different. You gotta wait more so for your teammate uh, parrying the attack and so on and so forth. And you get them into the wall, it's enough time for you to do long arm if your teammate does not attack them, of course, during the wall splat. There we go. I'm gonna try to res my teammate if I can. I don't know if I have. Yeah, I think I have the time. Valk right here. Waiting for teammate to engage. Wait for that GB. Boom. Oh, I messed that up, see? So, I locked on too early, and therefore I wasn't able to impale. But it's okay, because I got the long arm, uh, because he was too busy fighting. I messed that one up as well. I'm doing really terribly today. There you go. And boom. Uh, last is the Raider at A. If you do it right and your teammates uh, time all their attacks perfectly as well, you can one-shot pretty much any enemy if you have, like, two other teammates. It's pretty cool. Regardless, you're going to be doing a lot more damage than simply GBing and heavying them or something like that. Or, like, impale into the wall than heavy. So, like, you do this. You do the impale. Boom. And, unfortunately, my, my teammate attacked a little bit too early there. So I wasn't able to get the impale off in time. There we go. He's on recovery. He's not. He's gonna revenge. All right, that's fine. So when he's attacking, since he's in revenge, it doesn't do anything. And that's basically how you. That's just basically. It. Of course, you don't have to play like this, but if you can get it down, you can actually be a very big help for your teammate, for your teammates. Oh, and I'm just going to point this out right now while while I can, uh, just as, just for the sake of it. If I see any comments about, if, or if you guys are thinking of typing stuff like, oh, this is so unhonorable, how dare you, this gameplay is toxic, just, just stop, okay? It's a 4v4 game mode, you're meant to try to beat the enemy, like that, ledging and everything, like, that's how the game is literally built to be played. So, if you're if you're gonna say stuff about honor, like just stop. It, it's it's just <laughs> you're hurting yourself in the only way in the way that you should be viewing this game, and you're hurting the way other people should be viewing this game. So just just let it be. That's not how the game is supposed to be played. You can play like that, but don't don't get mad at other people for playing the way that it's normally meant to be played. That's all I'm saying. We 
I got that guy was in recovery. I could have killed that guy there. I don't know why I did that. I think I was just too in the uh, actual mood of it. That's okay though. He can help me get some revenge, maybe. Or I just, or I just die instead from him. That's fine. Oh, that actually hit me. I thought I buried that. That was a rip. I deserved that loss because I uh, didn't kill the Chiandi. <laughs> just took all that free damage from him. Uh, there's a 2v2 going on at A. I can definitely help out my teammate here if uh, I do this right. So, another thing you can try to do is not really necessarily try to set up the impale, but really just get them away from the enemy team is a good thing you can do. Or to get them away from your team, not, not enemy team. Get the enemies away from your team so then they can focus on more 1v2s and such. Ah, uh, why did I even try to... Why did I even try that? that one up. He might do a zone here. Waiting for the zone? No zone? Oh, doesn't look like it. Mess that one up as well. There it is. Okay, got that. Wait for the GB. Or the parry, whatever. Uh, well, this guy's doing it as well. Look at that. Perfect timing on the heavy. Let me go. But no one joined in on helping me with that. That's fine, I guess. I'm just analyzing the situation right now. Should be helping right now. He's in recovery with the palm strike. And there you go. That's a perfect. That's that's the coordination that I'm, that I'm looking for. You're not going to get it with randoms all the time, obviously. They're going to do whatever they want. Which is. If you're in that mindset of understanding that, you know, these teammates are not like trying to play the best that they possibly can all the time and think of every situation, then, you know, you, you, you'll be fine. You'll actually find to enjoy the game a lot more if you just try to do your part and know that you did well That's all that really matters At the end of the day with, with these uh, random pub games I'm in a huge terrible situation right now Let's See if I can get a uh... no, That was just a light. I thought he was gonna attack him twice I'm trying to be safe because I'm really low on HP and any any bit of damage can really hurt me right now. Got out of spam. Got away for the parry. Ugh. Voice crack! <clears throat> Timestamp that voice. Okay, there we go. Oh, we won that. <laughs> it's a little bit of a shaky fight. I did not really do that much in that fight. I got really low HP and I had to just... Be a little pansy for the most part. So this guy's coming up here. I might be able to get an impale. Like that. There we go. Go for the full combo. No, didn't work out. Got a stam, so I gotta wait. Okay, so... He can't go off offense, because if he tries, I'll impale him. Oh, he does a light, though. There we go. Ah, teammate. Yeah, went straight for the light attack. It will frustrate you at first when you realize, like, oh, we could have actually killed him there and stuff like that, but all you need to do is just relax and realize, like, if you got to be in that mindset that teammates are not always going to be listening no matter what. The potential max punishes is definitely when um, you're going to get the most frustrated at your teammates. Ah, 
I'll let that raider go. It's more important to stay alive for the teammates. Oh, the PK is right here. I thought that was a minion. Confused. Got revenge somehow. There we go. Got that Chiondi. Did it way too early. There's nothing I was even doing it from. There we go. I think I got this. Boom. And then do a light right after. There we go. Ah, yikes. <laughs> that PK is really good. Kept really calm with one bar of HP left. I got 12 kills, so I mean, I'm satisfied. Look at how much points we have. I was not even paying attention to that. We did not do any objectives at all. We are definitely all to blame for this loss. Oh well, I did my part. I got 12 takedowns. Most of them were just assists, but they count as takedowns, so it worked out. GG. I wanna be